Hey guys, so I look kind of crazy. I just finished my beach hunt and I'm gonna sit down and put the video together. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys, have been asking me, how do you clean your coins and jewelry? Can you show us the process from start to finish? So you guys, I'm gonna show you the process from start to finish. We got enough finally. I haven't been able to go out for a few days because our daughter Whitney came down for a visit and I didn't wanna waste any time metal detecting. I wanted to spend every second with her because I miss her so much. So you guys, here's my process on how I clean coins and jewelry from start to finish. Let's take a look. Okay, you guys, this is what I found today. I found a full watch that is pretty rough looking. I found this shiny diamond pendant. I can't wait to get that through the tumbler and see if this is sterling silver. Then I found this little piece of jewelry. It's heavy, it might be sterling silver. So we're gonna put that through to see you know, what it is. And then here are the coins that I found, all looking a little rough. This one looks good, so I won't put it through. Uh, well, no, I'll put it through because it'll look shinier when I get it out. But this is a 100 yen coin, $1 coin. There's two of those. There's two 50 yen coins, 50 cent coins two 10 cent coins. This is pretty much what the 10 cent coins in circulation look like. You know, it's just, it's copper, it's just like a penny. Um, but that'll look so clean when I get it out. And then one yen coins, this one's got just nasty stuff. I think it'll come off, but we'll see. We'll give it a shot. And then this one looks pretty good, but it'll be cleaner. So, Here's my tumbler. This is the tum this is the barrel of my tumbler. Here's my teacup. So you can see, you know, like teacup tumbler, what the size difference is to give you an idea. I've put some of my stainless steel media, tumbling media in. And you can see that there's pins and then little like saucer things. So that's the one that I bought. Oh, and then here's like a I don't know, funky. They're they're like little Tteokbokki, if you've ever had that in Korea. <laughs> People who've been to Korea know what I'm talking about. That's kind of the shape of the little rice, the little rice, uh, I don't know, thing. They're a lot bigger than that, though. Um, anyway, you guys, so I put, I'm going to put in this watch, and I'm going to put in this diamond, and I'm going to put in this little G or whatever this is, and then the silver-colored coins are going to go in. So the, the one yens, the one dollar, and the 50 cent coins. Now, I can't put the copper ones in, they have to go in separate because they'll color everything. Okay, so let me move it over to the sink and we'll get some water. Okay, you guys, I am gonna now pour some water in and I like to put, make it about mm, not quite half full. So you can see how much water is in there. And then, I use this stuff, it's called Shine Bright, and it says it's a burnishing compound, descaling compound, detergent, odorless, biodegradable. And I put in about one little capful, not a whole lot, because it says two ounces per gallon of water. So I might put in just a little tiny bit more. Okay, so that, that's like two, two caps full. And here's the little cap and I just don't use it because then it slides down the side of the container. Then I set my lid on nice and tight. Make sure it's on there nice and tight because if it's not, it'll leak. <laughs> I've had that happen. And then you, put, you slide the pin in and then flip it over to tighten it down, okay? And then I take it over to the barrel part of it, you know, the little base of it set it on and then mine i have my machine set to go forward and then backwards so it'll go forward for a bit it stops and then it goes backwards and i usually do it on two and then i set it for one hour so i'll show you how it's gonna stop and then turn around there and then it's gonna start going the other direction okay so that's my tumbler right there. Let's uh, come back and check on this in an hour and we'll see if we need to send it through again. Okay you guys this is 
uh, the tumbler after it has been running for two hours. So let's pull, I always wear a glove when I'm gonna touch this stuff. Here's that watch. Ooh, I gotta get all the other stuff. So this watch, wow, really cleaned up nicely, didn't it? You remember how nasty it looked? It looked pretty bad. It was just completely rusty and covered in, in all kinds of nasty stuff. Look at that. This watch looks fabulous after just two hours of tumbling, you guys. That's two hours. So this one I'm gonna call good even though, oh no, that's markings on the watch itself. I was looking at um, this right there thinking maybe it was some coral still on there, but no, it's just a marking on the watch. So I'm gonna put that aside and we'll go ahead and keep that one out. And you know what, I'm gonna set the phone down for a second. I'm gonna pull out all the coins and set them right here and then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, you guys, I have all the stuff out of the tumbler that we put in. The watch looks fantastic. I'm gonna have to look, I mean, I can't use this watch anyway and it was a $40 watch so I'm not really worried about it but the pin came out right here so um, the thing that connects the watch together, whoops, the pin came out right there. And so it won't come together, but the watch is flooded anyway. I don't know if you guys can see that water bubble floating around in there, but um, the watch is flooded anyway. It's a cute watch, it's a shame, it cleaned up so nice. Okay, my 100 yen coins, my 50 yen coins, my one yen coins, all look gorgeous. Even this one that had all the hard stuff attached to it. Now, I probably can't use it because it got eaten from the, you know, coral or whatever. Um, and then here is that gorgeous diamond pendant. Look at how sparkly and shiny. But <clears throat> I tested it, it's not real. And also you can see all the copper, you know, that's not even, it's not even a good setting. <laughs> but, um, Anyway, you guys, that is how I clean my coins and jewelry, make them look sparkling clean in just two hours. And I could actually use this fluid again. It's not too dark. As a matter of fact, I have uh, two nasty 10 yen coins and I'm gonna put those in. I'll put them in for an hour tumble and then I'll show you what it looks like in one hour. All right. Okay, you guys, here are my 10 yen coins. I sent them through for two revolutions, so that's two hours, because after one hour, there was still a little bit of discoloration on them, so I just wanted them to look nice and shiny and pretty. I really credit uh, this Shine Bright to you know, making my jewelry and coins look so good out of the tumbler. You can find the link to the Shine Bright, my tumbler, everything that I use and love in metal detecting in the description box of every one of my videos. So go ahead and check those links out so you can see how much stuff costs and, and where to find them. Okay. All right, you guys, that was pretty fun. Thank you so much for suggesting the video. I hope that you found it useful. And if you stay tuned for a minute, I'm gonna show you some pictures of our weekend with Whitney when we went to American Village and Depot Island. It's like Disneyland. So I, you know, I'm just gonna show you the still pictures of it. It's kind of cool. And anyway, I will see you on the next hunt.